previous episode, we learned about some of the problems with World Bank loans. The World Bank loans are being used as weapons of war. Like 70% of the money is wasted. This is preposterous. As per our official charter, the World Bank cares about peace through prosperity. If the World Bank loans aren't being used as instruments of war, then why are the World Bank presidents constantly military advisors? For example, Paul Wolfowitz was the World Bank president, but before that, he advised Bush on the Iraq war. Robert McNamara was a World Bank president, but before that, he was Secretary of Defense during Vietnam. So let me get this straight, the World Bank's goal is peace and prosperity, and who'd you choose to lead the peace? Well, the dude who sent us into Iraq, and the dude who sent us into Vietnam. Who's your customer service rep? Napoleon Bonaparte? The only thing on Paul Wolfowitz's resume that's relevant to the World Bank is lying. Let's see if we can figure this out. Halliburton got paid to rebuild shit in Iraq. Halliburton got paid to build shit in Vietnam. Guess who gets World Bank service contracts? You guessed it, Halliburton does. Well, maybe I've just figured out the entire conspiracy theory of the planet, which is that the American military and CIA ruin countries and then private contractors get to rebuild those countries all on the country's tab because it's guaranteed as repayment through the World Bank. Oh shit, I just figured it all out. Somebody bomb my studio here before I spread this message to the whole world. And if they do bomb me, I hope Halliburton rebuilds my house. Can you explain how the money flows to private contractors? So earlier I said the money flows from the borrower to the seller directly to the dictator. But sometimes it doesn't take this path. Sometimes it goes from the borrower to the seller to a contractor who then has to build in this country. In this case, the foreign country that's borrowing doesn't actually get the money. They never touch it. This highly incentivizes Halliburton or all the private contractors to overcharge. You're mentally retarded. The World Bank as well as the borrower double check the project's projected growth to ensure that this meets the estimated cost. You can trust our projections. We plan Vietnam and Iraq. Capitalism has failed. You imbecile. This isn't real capitalism. Real capitalism is when a company has to sell to consumers directly and through that feedback has to do a good job. The fact that the companies are private that work with the World Bank doesn't make it capitalism. You're just outsourcing socialism. Thank you for calling Socialism Inc. You can count on us for quality customer service on your mandatory forced taxation products. Remember our slogan, pick us or go to jail. This isn't real socialism because the people of the borrowing countries don't get a say. Your vote counts. My vote just counts 99 times more. The lending bank doesn't care about the outcome of the project because it's guaranteed repayment through the World Bank. So how would you change the system? Abolish it. Governments can't pick projects. Come on, when's the last time someone gave you a good holiday gift? Merry Christmas, honey! Oh yeah, a water dam. You shouldn't have, Dad. You can make debt repayments over the next 10 years. The private market has corrupted it. These projects are now awarded with bribes. How do World Bank bribes work? The contractor who's bidding pays the borrower to pick them, even if the project might not be right for the country. We've been making excellent progress against corruption with a new program. A new program? How do you remember debt from 60 years ago, but corruption? Ah, that was last week. We've created an anti-corruption department within the World Bank to handle these types of cases. Shouldn't this be handled by an external group? If you could handle it internally, why weren't you doing it before? What does the boss walk out from a team meeting like, hey guys, did you get the memo I sent out? It said, no lying. I'm not even going to respond to that. But I will if you pay me. Additionally, the World Bank buys equities that they advise those countries to go private. That's a conflict of interest. What do you mean by conflict of interest? He's mad the World Bank is acting as an investment bank. It's ironic, the liberal is upset that the government owns the means to production. The World Bank advises countries on how they should go about floating their equities, then buys a stake in them once they're private. What's an example of a country where this happened? In the Philippines, the World Bank advised Manila to take their water private. 
then they bought an equity stake in them and the water costs skyrocketed. First 800% increase once they went private, then 170% increase once the World Bank bought a stake in them. Admiral, people have been showing up begging to be waterboarded because they can't afford their own tap. But they got better customer service, disband the World Bank, and the conflict of interest is gone. Private companies will always do a better job than the government. You don't like it? Cry me a river. Because Flint, Michigan could use the water. So you think he's focusing on the wrong problems? It's ridiculous that these colleges are super politically correct about race, yet their endowment funds are often managed by the same investment banks that aid the IMF and World Bank in enslaving Africa and South America. Man, I am about to pass out. I am so hungry. I can't be paying out our slavery money to faculty that might be racist. Can you give us a concrete example? Bowdoin College fired a professor because he was in a picture with a student who had a Mexican sombrero. Meanwhile, this college's endowment fund is helped managed by one of the co-heads of investment banking at Goldman Sachs. So if I were a Mexican, I would actually mail my debt repayments in a sombrero so at least someone would get blamed. This money I got soaked from the tears of Mexican children. My God, he owns a Mexican sombrero. That's racist. But I'll take some of the money inside. Let's finish here. Can you please summarize? To summarize, the World Bank is a corrupt organization that enslaves the third world by making them repay the same debt over 100 times. The people of the country borrowing have no say in the matter, receive no benefit from these projects, and in addition to all that, it usually funds military rule as well as genocide, for example, in Rwanda. I agree with most of the liberals' objections. I disagree that the answer is capital controls. Instead, I see tyranny and genocide as the inevitable result of worldwide socialism and loan guarantees disconnected from the outcome. Regardless, if you're on the left or the right, we join hands together to fight corruption. Sometimes tyranny is necessary in a society to keep order. We prevent crime. <laughs> I don't have health insurance. I'm gonna need a loan.